Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey. It's me, your girl, Shifi Ali, with my 26 week pregnancy update. Oh my God, guys. This week, I have felt so much pain. You talk about growth spurt. First of all, it says that the baby is the size of uh, a head of kale. I don't know if that means in the bunches or like a circle of lettuce. I don't know, but my little frame is rejecting this baby. When I'm talking about I am so uncomfortable, first of all, my sciatic nerve has been acting up again. I had sciatica when I was pregnant with my second child, but I didn't develop it until I was like eight or nine months. Now I can feel it. So from here to about here in my back, it is the worst pain ever when I walk when I walk listen I am like super uncomfortable the heartburn is back full fledged constipation on fleek um <laughs> like it has really just been a very trying time my husband has been spending a lot of time massaging my my back and it's not just my upper my lower back I've been feeling it so I'm feeling pain here I'm feeling pain there I am just I'm just like a ball of discomfort. I can't sleep at night. I don't sleep at night. Like sleep, sleep is a luxury. When I was a little girl, my mother did not let me take naps. And so I, I like I have a preset mentality not to nap. Even in pregnancy, I just, I don't feel the need to nap. When I'm telling you like my baby lays down at noon, I'm like, yes, that's usually my workout time. But I'm like, yes. So I've been working out randomly. Like whenever I can get an hour to myself, I'm just like, okay, now's the time. The Braxton Hicks have been so consistent. I had to call my doctor because I'm like, am I in labor? Like, why is, are these pains so great? I never experienced Braxton Hicks on this level with my first two pregnancies. Remember, guys, if you're new to the channel, this is my third pregnancy. This is my third time carrying a child to term, I'll say. And so the fact that these Braxton Hicks are, like, unbearable, like I said, I can't sleep at night. I can't walk. Um, it's hard to get through my my, re my workout regimen, but I'm still doing it. I'm still pressing myself through it. Um, but the good news is, this is for you guys. Here's the information part. The doctor says that by me having all these Braxton Hicks right now, I am going, I am practicing. My body is practicing, contracting, and labor. So chances are, um, I am going to have another V-back. Like that is, that's the hope. Now I'm already a good candidate. Now if you guys don't know my situation, my first child was a cesarean, my second child was a VBAC. I was already a good candidate for a VBAC because I'd already had a successful one. So I wasn't too concerned. But what my doctor says now is because I'm having all these Braxton Hicks right now, like so soon, she says that it's a good sign that the baby's preparing himself to come on down and I'll be ripe and open for the picking. Now, I don't know what that I don't know what these contractions have to do with me dilating because that was the thing like before I dilated but my child didn't drop. So maybe that's what it is cuz she knew that and I'm just realizing that in this moment as I'm saying it to y'all. But anyway, woo, your girl is struggling through these Braxton Hicks. What else has been happening? I've been feeling a little bit nauseous at night. Um like nighttime is just like the worst time for me. So if you are 26 weeks pregnant, um know that your baby is growing. If your baby is growing, they have eyelashes now, their features are starting to work and their talents are starting to develop. Isn't that unique? That's great. I've been on these websites because I'm like, "Lord, why is this baby hurting me so bad? Like, this baby is really me. I'm like, oh my god, I see my stylist today. She didn't do my hair, I did my hair. And if you guys want to know, um, I did do a video when I did my bantu twist, but that's something else. But I saw my stylist today, she said she could tell from my Facebook post that I am tired of being pregnant, guys. When I'm telling you, I am tired of being pregnant, but I'm the thing is, I'm not like, I don't want the baby to come because I know that he's not ready, but like, I've never been so like, I'm over this. You know what I mean? I told my husband, I said, I'm 40. I don't have time for this. Like, my body is like, yo, we supposed to be partying. We're not supposed to be pushing people out. So, I'm really just like, I am going through it this week. My back has been like the worst. Like, I, I'll just be sitting there and I can't move. It's like, I just sit there. I'll sit down for a minute and then whew, the pains hit me. My husband's like, breathe. I'm like, dude, if you tell me to breathe one more time. 
Like, I can't breathe. When, when these pains hit you, you really want to go... Until it goes away. But that's not what you're supposed to do. He's right. You're supposed to breathe through it. And it, it helps you practice for labor. And I do know that I did need to breathe. You go... Breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> Your girl is just uncomfortable. And one more thing, y'all. I have learned to love a good romper, jumpsuit, whatever you want to call these things. While y'all out there buying maternity clothes, you like it really, really, unless you get like astronomically large. Maternity clothes are so temporary and it really, 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 really is just not like I have all my maternity clothes still in New York at my mother-in-law's house because I didn't think I was having any more kids. So they're like stored, stowed away at her house. I have no choice really but to wear my own clothes right now. And I'm thinking like when I get bigger, like what am I going to do? I don't know. I'll think about that. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But maybe I'll get my clothes from there. Maybe not. I don't know. But I'm really feeling confident. I have been feeling myself lately, even though I've been in pain. I've just really felt like I'm in, I love being pregnant. That is the one thing I can say. I love, like, I feel like a hero. Like, I'm just like, I'm doing this. I'm dope. I make people look what I was created to do. Thank you, God. You know what I mean? And so I just, I feel so sexy. I, I feel so beautiful. I always smell so good, so divine. This is a good time in your life. So if you can still wear your good clothes or if you can, instead of buying maternity clothes, buy clothes that make you feel beautiful. You know what I mean? Buy shirts that like, I mean, buy your crap shirt and just put something on underneath it because that is the most important thing in pregnancy is to stay, keep focus. The focus is this is a temporary situation. You are not going to be pregnant for the rest of your life. You are only going to be pregnant in Jesus' name for nine months and maybe about two weeks. You know what I mean? Embrace this time. Flaunt your belly. This is not back in the days so you can't reach up over your head. or You know what I mean? You can't relax your hair or color it. You can, you can, you can, you can, you can. You can. You can. Somebody's going to refute me, but you can. I did. Okay, I was not. I have gray. Did you see those? I haven't washed my hair since I've taken out my sewing. I know I'm trifling, but at the moment of my hands being up like this for an extended amount of time, it's just, it's not driving me to do it. But um, when I was pregnant with my other kids, I definitely relaxed my hair with my first kid um, because I was getting relaxers and I was coloring it and I was fine. And he was fine. And with my second kid, I did. I went natural, but I was still coloring my hair black out of the box. You know what I'm saying? Be what is it? Beijing or whatever. So live your life, embrace this time, buy some new lipstick, buy some perfume, buy a new lingerie set. You know, you don't have to wear those big pregnancy drawers. They're ugly. They're ugly. I know they're comfortable, but they're ugly. Okay, I've been wearing thongs for my man. I'm like, you see all this excess fat I got back there? Baby got back. Hey, hey. And I want him to see it. I want him to enjoy this new bigger body because it's going away. <laughs> It is going away, okay? I already talked to my doctor about my three-week regimen. But anyway, let me show y'all my stomach um, with my clothes off. And thank you so much for watching. There he goes. There's my son. And guys, my abs are still there. Look at that. Uh, look at that. Ah! My abs are still there. 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 I'm actually not going to close this thing because I do have to pee. <laughs> but I found that rompers are super comfortable. One pieces. It's, un it's weird, you know, when you have to get undressed, but it's super comfortable. So... I just want to say congratulations to the mamas out there who have delivered their babies because, oh my God, you guys, like, I'm so jealous. You rock, you're holding your little babies and smelling them. They smell so good. They're so soft. Ah, I can't wait to hold my baby. Oh, it's going to be such a good day. Anyway, guys, <laughs> when something seems bad, turn it around and make everything good. Blessings.